How's it going? I'm Visionary. This is Visionary Dex, and today I built a Secret Keeper printer with LeBlanc. Now, the main idea behind this deck and the way we're going to be printing Secret Keeper itself is with LeBlanc's mirror image, which they recently changed to be able to target any allied unit instead of just a unit with five plus power, which lets us do some fun, more meme-ish decks like a Secret Keeper printer. Now, I actually don't think this deck is as meme as it might seem on the first go. Uh, most of our cards are pretty cheap. They're pretty generically good. And it is also an Auction deck. Uh, the main reason we're playing Auction is because, number one, just good synergy with Mirror Image and LeBlanc. But number two, we could potentially give all of our champions Spell Shield and plus two, plus two. So it's just a nice possibility to be able to buff all of our Secret Keeper champions everywhere with this card if we get to the end of the second landmark as well. And in addition to printing Secret Keeper, we'll also be printing Golden Ambassador, who will be drawing us uh, some of the Secret Keeper champions. The reason we are running so few Noxus cards is because we do want to be able to hit Allegiance with Golden Ambassador. But yeah, other than that, that is pretty much the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed today's games as much as I did recording them. Without further ado, here's game one. Ah, Charles. Charles, my my old foe, my old chap. What's up, old chap? It's Charles, everyone. Charles, everyone's everyone's favorite opponent. Charles. What an honor it is going to be today to play against Charles, my old fella. Um, let's keep one Scrying Sands. Mulligan the rest of the hand. I need to find a champion. Either one will do. Uh, predicts pretty good. Double predict. Okay, and glaive triple predict. If I don't find either of my champions, then... I mean, I don't know what to say. Cool. So we got LeBlanc. Against this deck, we will have to watch out for Mystic Shot. Aftershock. And maybe even... Sump Fumes? I want to say those are like the three removal spells that they might have. That would, would uh, potentially kill a LeBlanc. Other than that, I don't think they have anything. So what is our strategy? She could definitely still die on 3 HP. That's kind of an issue. I think we really want to find um, Deny Bush off of this Scrying Sands. Either that or the Buried Armory. I think we need one of the two. I could also just... I'm just going to drop her. I'm just going to greet it. What the heck, man? I'm just going to drop her. I'm going to swing and glaive open next turn. What's the worst? <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? I'm actually so tempted to just scrying sands here. I'm not going to, though. I probably should have just swing... I should have swung engraved on this guy. That would have made more sense. Do they play Brittle Steel? That's a good point as well. I have to keep that in mind. So we should save scrying sands and quicksand for, like, defense. He might actually think he gets away with a Brittle Steel here. Hopefully that's what he goes for. Um, That's a really good top deck. Our goal is just to buff LeBlanc as quickly as we can. Hopefully no Insta Aftershock. Insta Aftershock here would be a problem. Thank goodness, man. Okay. No, we're chilling. We're chilling. He thinks Brittle Steel will be enough. He thinks Brittle Steel... Uh, <laughs> sir. Do you have any cards in your hand? Uh, sir. <laughs> it perplexes me why, why thou doth not play any cards from thou'st hand. Dear Charles, <laughs> what in the world? He just took seven to face. Like, that's a normal thing that people do. Always define me mushrooms. All right, I'll drop a golden ambassador, I think. Could go for I'll actually just go for I'll pass and like, quicksand. And I should have played buried armory. Because he could have been sussed out here in, um... Might have, might have just... <laughs> might have insta-passed. Then we would have had a problem. But let's just, let's just go for a level up on her as quickly as we can. And then start printing Golden Ambassador. I'll go for this, and then I'll Grappling Hook. Oh, oh, dude. This is nuts, actually. If, 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 the, if the opponent lets you just, like, get started with... This is... This is kind of crazy. Am I wrong? Charles has no clue the monster he has unleashed here. Charles has unleashed a... Has unleashed a terrifying beast. Tough LeBlanc. Yeah, this is this is a thick LeBlanc, that's for sure. This is, this is the thickest LeBlanc I have ever seen. Charles Lettuce Cook. Now, I think I did make one mistake, and that is not playing... I should have played Scrying Sands, I think, instead of Quicksand. 
played the wrong sand, basically. Uh, oh, Challenger. <laughs> Challenger or Spell Shield? I mean, both are so good. I'll go for Spell Shield, because it's inevitable he's going to have a freeze. Let's just prevent that. I'll drop a Buried Armory just to count this down as quickly as possible. And yeah, Charles really should not have let me cook here. <laughs> Charles, what are you... Oh, oh no. I mean, obviously I'm summoning a copy of LeBlanc here. I think we got to put pressure on this guy. And then like in the future, we'll start summoning copies of Golden Ambassador. This is just insane. Like I got to just push damage this turn. This is actually nuts. The value I have right now <laughs> is comical. <laughs> What are you going to do? Harsh winds? I don't think that's going to work, buddy. Oh, heck no. Nah. Oh, heck no. Nah. Oh, heck no. Nah. Charles just dropped the, the, the monument of the sumps. Is this correct order, by the way? Wait, is this not correct order? I hit 15 damage here. Why does it not show me getting a... Oh, he finally found his mystic shot. <laughs> a little bit, A little bit too late. Just a tad bit too late. Where's my mirror image? Oh, because of Sump Monument. Wait, that's crazy. No. I don't get my mirror image back. That's so lame. <laughs> I, I'm i not a fan of that. That's kind of annoying. All right. I mean, we're almost tied on Puff Caps, which is pretty funny. But come on, man. This is a fearsome. This is pretty trash. Um, pretty trash selection of lucky finds. I'm gonna be honest. Those finds were not too lucky. Charles found ultimate. All right, I'm just I'm gonna secret keeper golden ambassador and hope I get like eight. This will be my magnum opus. Uh, actually, I think it'll be my magnum opus. <laughs> nice try though. <laughs> nice try. Thank you. Thank you, but this is gonna be my magnum opus. <laughs> All right, I mean, Secret Keeper, Treasure of the Sands on this, probably. We're looking pretty, pretty good here. What should I put Treasure of... I feel like we put it on this, actually. Let's pop it down on this. Why not? This is a lot, man. This is a lot for him to deal with. I'm gonna be honest. You can predict before Ambassador. We don't need to do that. Why am I taking so much damage? Now, we don't need to predict. Why am I taking so many mushrooms? There's less mushroom. I have something very special planned. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me, man. You have. I cannot go out like this. Renekton. Let's go. Renekton's here to save the day. Wait, this is zero puff caps. This is. There's so many cards in here that I literally have been drawing so unlucky already. This is insane. Look at these cards, and then think about the cards that I just drew. If I die here, dude, I swear there is no shot I'm about to die to mushrooms with with. The amount of mushrooms I have in my deck. There is no way. Why am I so close to actually dying? That's insane. I have to attack with everything here. I, I, I actually have to attack with everything. Bro. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 please. Create, create a LeBlanc on top of my deck. Please, please, please. Paying my game. LeBlanc, <laughs> I don't, I feel like you're in pain. Oh, one. I don't know, man. I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead, dude. I'm just, I'm dead. This is so stupid. This is actually just messed up. Dude, how did I get how did how did I draw this many a perfect puppet? How did I actually draw this many mushrooms? I don't understand. I wish this did this literally does nothing. This literally does nothing. <laughs> what? I'm not even the luck even the lucky finds have given up on me. They're just like, yeah, here's Here's the three keywords your LeBlanc already has. You're welcome. Please. Quicksand top deck, zero puff caps. Quicksand top deck, zero puff caps. Never know what hit him. All right. I mean, that was a good game. 
It was. It was a good game at one point in time. There was a point during that game where it was good. Hey. <laughs> Scorched her. Just the inevitable add new card to deck immediately brick hand by drawing that new card you just added. The classic. The classic. Uh, Heimer, oh man. Heimer Jace is a bad matchup for me, I'm going to be honest. Really bad matchup. I basically have to... Okay. I have to drop Deny Bush. Definitely. Definitely have to drop Deny Bush. Or I have to wait for him to do this. This is fine too. So in this situation... Akshan, Swinging Glaive. He has zero mana. It's like a safe... He's actually just passing. Wait, wait, why would he why would he pass? He's that scared of giving Akshan one free strike. There is no shot. Uh now we drop deny bush. Free attack with Akshan. There is no possible way Akshan dies this turn. That's okay. That explains why he didn't attack. It's actually all starting to make sense. And this, my friends, is why we run Spirit Fire. Um let me pump pump this bush with a little extra HP if we can. Tough works, I guess. Just so that this can't get Mystic Shot, uh, and this lets us save our Deny even longer. This is our one weakness right now, is like, I might have to deny a Mystic Shot, whereas I'd rather deny, like, a Shock Blast. I mean, I guess Prowl does the same thing. Uh, yeah, and we just, you know... <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks for the free strikes. I appreciate it. That's so nice of you, dude. That's sick, actually. <laughs> that's so, that's so cool of you to do that. Now, uh, the one problem here is I've gone low on mana. So, Akshan could technically die from a Shock Blast. Uh, we're going to buff him and hopefully find extra HP on Akshan this turn. That is definitely the priority here. Spell Shield, even better. That's got to be better, right? This saves us from double Mystic, whereas plus one HP does not save us from double Mystic. Yeah, we're looking pretty good here. And now we could even... I think we have a safe Siphoning Strike on Heimerdinger. I'm going to be honest. Especially with Prowl. I just hit this. We're golden. We're chilling. Our auction is huge. I have to be honest, man. This deck is like kind of impressive just right out the gate. If I give auction overwhelm here, we're actually insane. We actually just go crazy mode. This is kind of nuts. I, I don't like him having this. I, I really do. We, we're going to need to predict. Okay, this is Mystic Shot. I get this is why we gave her Bush tough. I guess a prowl now. <laughs> but like, this is what I was worried about. So he's, he's gonna go for a vengeance next turn. We can still deny that. There's nothing you can have this turn to deal with Akshan, not even remotely. Another spell shield's pretty good. <laughs> I guess I'll take that. Sure, man. We'll do a little predict, and then we still get to give Akshan another keyword after all this. There's the quicksand we needed. Finders keepers. Uh, and now, yeah, if we could just find her, the Keeper in our deck, uh, that would be sick. Dude, my Akshan is just ginormous. And he's got Challenger. <laughs> I actually, I'm having a lot of fun, I have to say. This is kind of nice. Why am I actually, like, doing decent right now? I expected this deck to be kind of copium, I'm not going to lie. Um, I guess we'll drop this guy just as his normal self. There's actually no downside to just dropping him as is. He still gets the effects. He's a free blocker. I see no issues here. Pretty good. Pretty good. That's less good, but still pretty good. So I guess now that he's gone down on mana, we'll, we'll target this and this with uh, quicksand just to chump block both of them. And we'll block something else with Akshan. I think that's the plan. <laughs> Return Akshan back to trash. Why is this so big? Because Hextech Handler. That's crazy. Yeah, is it is it really Quicksand Quicksand? I think it's Quicksand Quicksand. Oh, I should have... Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have denied there. I'm actually an idiot. That was a huge misplay. That was the easiest deny of my life. I should have denied there, 100%. Okay, I mean... I, it's okay. Boom, boom, right? This has to be the this has to be the move. I could also just go prowl on this though and give like minus tough. It's 
go for this. I think this makes the most sense. Oh, come now. I don't, I don't like how this is starting to turn around. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Things are starting to turn in a little bit of a scary direction, but hopefully we'll, we'll be chilling. I'm going to drop LeBlanc now that she's big. Uh, we'll probably open with like Trevor and Assessor next turn. Maybe see if we can give her spell shield as well. Challenger. All right. And I don't know. Um, we could potentially pop this next turn. Probably do just like prowl here. What what do I want off of this? Do we want the draw two? Maybe grant. Do we just grant LeBlanc spell shield? I've got it. I think I know what we're doing. I think I know what we're doing. We're gonna wait. He's never. He is never insta vengeancing LeBlanc. I'm gonna predict, and then we're gonna draw. That's the plan. Vistaya is very good. Go with another Vistaya. Man, no, no secret keeper this game. Where's secret keeper at? Okay, he's 100%. I guarantee you, he is holding a vengeance. You earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. I want him to commit a little bit more mana. I want him to break this spell shield with like a mystic shot. Please, make my day. Do it. Please. Please, sir. Break this spell shield right now so I can just... Okay. He's vengeancing. He's obviously vengeancing. So we're just going to give all champions plus two plus two in spell shield. An awesome day for progress. It really do be an awesome day for progress. I think I'm going to go for this. We'll pull this vulnerable. Boom. 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 It's gotta be like the best possible way we could have played this turn, right? That's pretty good. That's pretty good, I gotta be honest. That's pretty good. I am everyone. She's everywhere, she is everyone. Who knew? It's crazy. I didn't know until she said that, like right now, for the first time. She should, she should just, like, wear a t-shirt that says, I am everywhere, so she doesn't have to keep saying it, you know? Just, like, wear a t-shirt that says it, and then you're good. And you don't have to keep saying it and explain it. But I guess that would give her away. If she's everyone, then everyone would be wearing the t-shirt that says, I am every. I don't know. Maybe that doesn't make sense. Nah, that's a terrible idea. Don't listen to me, LeBlanc. Don't, don't listen to me. That was a stupid idea. Dude, Mirror Image is so good with Akshan. We can copy Akshan. It is a target. It summons Akshan, so that's already two on landmark. And then if the ephemeral strikes, that is three on landmark for two mana. That's insane. And I can go this into grappling hook on Akshan. That's so good, man. That's what we're going to do this, this next turn, I think. And we'll get another mirror image back in hand from grappling hook. Interesting use of tech. Hey, you didn't, you didn't give me time to put my deny guy out there. I mean, that is just, that is truly desperate. That is truly just desperation at its, at its finest. Okay, so I guess we'll LeBlanc deny guy. It did not, oh, I could have played deny bush. I could have played deny bush last turn. I'm just, I'm misplaying all over the place, dude. My favorite part of this match was when I said it's misplaying time, and then I misplayed all over the place. That's a big LeBlanc, by the way. This is just vanilla LeBlanc now. 10-7. 10-7, good chat. 10-7. Uh, I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last round. I'm definitely going to get this bush out there. I am curious, by the way, if I mirror image this bush, what would happen? My landmark advances by one. <laughs> There's, It doesn't, like, create a second ambush spell in hand and I get two denies, do I? Because that would be crazy. It says exact. It says exact, right? So part of me feels like I should be able to have a second deny. Because it's, like, the exact... But it's just an exact bush. <laughs> Man, this Secret Keeper deck sure does get a lot of value out of screening Career Keeper. It truly does. It truly does. And you know to prove that? I will play Secret Keeper here. Before I attack, I will play my beloved Secret Keeper. I will.
feels good to be a prowler right now, you know? Feels feels good to be on the prowl. This is one of those moments you get rewarded for being on the prowl. It, it really is. Uh, summon another secret keeper. We're getting... I actually think we could almost... Oh, we're so close to popping this this turn. A perfect puppet. This feels good, man. I'm gonna be honest. This feels good. I'm just... I'm waiting to see if he drops like a Jace and then I Siphoning Strike and we just basically win. I want to see what he spends the rest of his mana on here because we're like so close to actually dealing a lot of damage. I guess we'll just attack with LeBlanc and the 2-4. The Ephemeral Secret Keeper. I don't know if we want to Siphoning Strike. Do I? If I Siphoning Strike, I have for 12. I'm just not leveling. Like the... the. I don't know. It's just this. There's no reason to hit anything else. Let's just play it safe. I got to keep mana up for uh, Deny anyways. So I'd only be playing Grappling Hook, not this. We are, we are really like... We were so close to popping this this turn, but... We'll just wait. The question is, what do I what do I take off of this? I feel like it's got to be draw two, right? My hand is starting to get pretty empty. I think we want to see if we can find the allegiance card and draw a champion. Hey. <laughs> and here it is. <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for. Actually, hold on. Let me buff her first. Quick little buff. And there it is. There's the overwhelm I've been waiting for all my life. Dude, my champions are so freaking big. It's insane. Uh, let me see if I can pop. I think at this point, we just want to pop Spell Shield on the on the bush now. Just to add another safety layer. I guess tough. Not that great. Oh, and I... Oh, oops. <laughs> Uh-oh. I accidentally popped my landmark a little too early. Oh, well. Guess I'll just have to play my one mana auction. <laughs> Oh, man, this is so funny. Anyways, I mean, I don't think we really need the mana discount. I just need to draw. That is pretty good. And there's there's our allegiance. I'm going to be honest. This deck actually is looking pretty nice. I have to say. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't like Jace, but we do have Deny. So he's he's got Challenger. I have to strike Jace. Oh, he's just going to challenge my bush. That's really bad, actually. That's really bad. What if I what if I were to summon an exact copy of my bush, huh? He would never know which one's the real bush. Don't you dare miss. I actually have I have decent chances of missing. I still have what? One, two. I think I have three. I have three Noxus cards in the deck. I'm not getting any younger. It's three out of twenty-four. That's not the best. What's what what happens if you copy the bush? I don't I don't really want to find out. <laughs> I don't think I want to find out. Let's pop this landmark a little bit closer. And then if he if he dare plays another unit here before attacking, I immediately grappling hook this, and he can't pull my bush in. Let's get started. Either way, Jace is dying guaranteed round end. It's really unfortunate that this is what he's going for. It makes sense. It's fair. It is what it is. Uh, gotta go for this. Hopefully... Oh, he could just double vengeance, though. That was a dangerous play. That was a very dangerous play, to be fair. Yeah, I don't know. We're kind of living on the edge right now because I'm starting to run out of cards and I'm out of deny bushes. <laughs> but at least like we've we've stalled. This is this is good. We're still. I think we're doing fine. If I can just print a little more value, another auction. Okay. My my champions are just like ridiculously big at this point. They really should never be this big. The fact that they have gotten this big is truly just hilarious. Um, I will definitely throw this down on auction before attacking. Just because I can. Would you mirror your LeBlanc? I actually, I could have gotten another mirror image back next last turn if I mirrored LeBlanc. I wanted to advance the landmark though, so I mirrored Auction instead. Axel. <laughs> Surrender. <laughs> Am I right? That's what she should have said, because he basically just surrendered there. GG's. Uh, now, Jin Annie, this is like. The perfect hand for Jin Annie. I just want a good curve of units. And hopefully we can predict into like a little combat trick or a buff. This is actually fantastic. What is this hand? This is the perfect hand. This is like the dream hand against Jin Annie for, for my deck. This is so good. 
I guess I still can't block Annie with Akshan, but like, pretty good. I, I actually, if he doesn't, if he open attacks next turn, I give Annie vulnerable, which is crazy. I like this a lot. This is a good start. This is a very good start. Please open attack. Please open attack. Oh no, dude. Oh no. <laughs> he has no clue. <laughs> what could be hiding here? <laughs> hmm. I wonder. What could possibly be hiding here? This is a lot of damage, to be fair. I think we definitely... Do we block? We gotta block, right? I'm killing her next turn. Honestly, I probably should have dropped Aux on this turn. Just to pop the landmark slightly quicker. Because I could have just, just base summoned this guy and he still would have done the same exact thing next turn start. Because he already spent his mana this turn, that was actually the correct play. I didn't quite think that through. But we'll go for this. Uh, Akshan? I, do not break rules. I, I bend, bend him. Slightly. slightly. And then, I mean, if he wants to fervor here, is he even aggro at that point? Let's be honest. He could go for that play. I would no not care. The no one's the wiser? I feel, I feel like I've said this many times, but again, someone's always the wiser. You cannot have two people in the same room and no one's the wiser. That's just like statistically improbable. How do you find, how do you just randomly have two people in a room and they have the same exact IQ? That doesn't happen. Someone's always the wiser. <laughs> someone's definitely, see like here in this scenario, Jin would probably be the wiser if I had to guess. Um, man, if only this said deal four to a champion, huh? Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> if only, if only one of these scales Nasus was holding was just like all the way down here, that would be sick. But no. So he's probably gonna pop this on Legion Saboteur. Could deny bush here. Is deny bush worth using? I don't think it's worth using on this attack. Or secret keeper. Secret Keeper, maybe Akshan block with uh, Saboteur, Scrying Sands. Be pretty good. Does Okay, wait, does Jin stun? Oh, no. Wait. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What, what does he do? He stuns weakest enemy. No. <laughs> so wait, pop? Stun weakest enemy. He's back to one out of three. Double skill, boom, boom, stun other weak. He literally kills Akshan and the 3 1 here. He actually. No, I had to play Deny Guy. I didn't realize what he was doing. I had to play Deny Guy. This is so bad. My Akshan and the 3 1 both die. Is that actually what happens here? Oh, wait, what? Wait, why did they not die? <laughs> Wait, it's because he it's because they went on stack before he did the lotus trap. Wait, what? Why does it work that way? That actually makes no sense to me. It should have been like this, then lotus trap. Then this lotus trap this or something. That's so weird, but alright. I mean I'll, I'm not complaining. <laughs> they both get stunned, so I guess we just We know Seeker Keeper gets stunned. I'll just go like this, and I take them away. This is so weird. Why does it work this way? Take your seats. Jin should have attacked first. Is that true? But why do his skills go on stack first if he attacked last? Because, oh, because the first... I get it now. Yeah, yep. That's confusing. That is, uh, to be fair, that is too much for an aggro brain to process. That is truly just more than any aggro player could ever be expected to to understand. History forgets, but the I'm, a, I'm a LeBlanc. I'm a ruthless predator, and we will end Jin for good. That is the plan here. I do have to watch out for like a fervor. I am frightened, but it's gonna I'm stun gonna LeBlanc. Okay. It. Your adoring public awaits. He's gonna stun everything, huh? Oh. Oh my. Wait, I didn't realize how good Ravenborn Tome is on Jin. That's insane. 
Bro, what the? Wait, this is... I've never seen an Annie Jin player pop off like this before. This is crazy. What is happening? I've literally never seen this happen. I, I just have to hope he doesn't have fervor. If he has fervor here, it's just GG's. It's actually just GG's. I was going to talk about maybe putting, like, pulling in with a uh, Seeker Keeper. Just so he's unfervorable. Thank goodness he doesn't have fervor. I would have lost. What in the world? That's insane. That is actually just insane. There's magic, and then there's me. I don't like this, man. I do not like this. This is this is like a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> but thank goodness I have just full hand of like counter cards. I need this hand. This is like the only hand I need right now. Imagine Yasuo didn't rotate. I know. Seriously, Yasuo Jin would actually be legitimate. All right, this is uh, a. <laughs> This is looking like it might be our deny guy turn, yeah? This might be the turn we, we give deny guy's first debut. Deny guy hits the stage. I mean, honestly, I feel like he has kind of run out of steam here. The fact, like, yes, Ravenborn Tome is good, but also because he messed up, now he's just playing it for two mana every single turn. He lost his Jin, and like, now what? I literally just block with Deny Guy. I <laughs> actually probably block with LeBlanc and, and like minus attack on this. We Deny Guy here, 100%. Boom. Boom. Look how simple that is. I will, I will even, I have to, I have to predict now because I'm running out of cards. Predict, Trifarian Assessor. That's, that's pretty good. It's not the best. I actually don't, I don't like Trifarian Assessor. <laughs> Trifarian Assessor here really doesn't draw much. Oh sure. I'm gonna skip. I'm actually gonna skip. I will skip. He doesn't have deal one. There's no ping he has that is deal one, so I might as well just get extra damage in with LeBlanc. Go for this. It just helps her level up faster. I can open attack with her next turn. She'll level up on her own hit. This is pretty good. This is not bad. Like, he's in a rough situation now. He is truly in a rough situation. Oh, this is... Is this greedy? <laughs> is it greedy to play this? I gotta just open swing. I really want to play swinging glaive here, but I gotta just open swing. Because if he plays another stage hand, then I'm just gonna be... I'm gonna be so sad. I gotta force him to block. Because there's no way he's taking 12 to face. I don't care what kind of aggro player you are, you cannot not block here. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Whoa, I can see the All right, magic. ladies and gentlemen, I think it's about time we hit the combo this deck was built for. Here we go. Classic misdirection. Classic misdirection. You thought this was a Akshan deck? You thought this was a LeBlanc deck? This is a Secret Keeper deck, my friend. We'll swing glaive, pop landmark, Akshan flips, predict. Hopefully find one of our Secret Keeper champions. We got four of them in the deck. Four is pretty good. Pretty decent odds. Maybe I should have saved this until next turn, to be fair. This is actually a little bit greedy, but... I just got a little excited, all right? Happens to everybody. I thought it might be a good idea to, to just, you know, predict this turn. Why not? We played... Zero yeah, so far I've literally played zero champions from Secret Keeper over the course of, like, three games. But that's all right. Now, okay, that, that is not all right. Decimate? Huh? They added two mana decimate into the game. What is this? What is going on? I'm actually, I'm, I'm legitimately dead here if I don't find Deny Bush. I actually have to find Deny Bush. Oh, no. I desperately need Deny Bush. I guess we'll take Trifarian Assessor just because it's like two draws like a chance of finding another deny bush <laughs> even this is probably too slow wait i think i might lose here i need deny bush i just hope okay i just gotta hope he doesn't have lethal this turn as long as he doesn't have lethal this turn i can predict predict again draw two if i don't find deny bush off of all of that for next i hear it now the thunderous applause Alright, I'm not applauding. Which one of you is applauding? 
He says he hears applause. I am not applauding here. This is not applause worthy. There is no applause here. <laughs> I don't even have I don't even have time. I, I just gotta hope we top deck Bush. Please, Bush. That might be enough. If he is greedy enough to play one last unit before attacking, please. Please. Aggro player. He just throws units on board. Just throw another unit. You can go face even more. <laughs> What's the rush? Please. You know? Develop. I, I, I encourage you. Go ahead. You are the master of the uh, Obra. Oh, no. Is that Spanish for open? He's the master of the Obra attack? Please don't Obra attack, bro. Please. <laughs> do not Obra attack. Whatever you do. If they don't break, they'll burn. Let's go. Pog champ. That is six damage. He's only... Okay. No. We kill Jin. We have a chance. We have a chance. We siphoning strike Jin here. That's one stun. Oh, am I dead though? I might be dead. I have to go for this, obviously. One damage. Block, 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 block. Uh-oh. He actually has exact lethal right now. No, because I can scrying sands. We survive. I need... I have to... Okay. I have to predict into deny bush on the second predict. First predict doesn't matter. Skip. Because I'm going to predict again just to deny... Oh, I should have also hit lucky fine. Doesn't really matter. But, you know, we're, we actually survive here. We do survive. We survive. If I can find deny bush and we can win next turn, In position. we survive. Wait, what is this? Wait, what is this? Oh, no. He's going for face damage. He's not open swinging. That's kind of smart. That's pretty smart. I have to give it to him. That is smart. Okay, I actually have to block with this here to give myself board space. So next turn, I can summon a draw. I'm screwed, though. I'm actually just screwed. Oh, no, I forgot to predict. Oh, it's fine. This doesn't really matter. I can I can still predict after. And there is no reason to take extra damage on auction there, but it is what it is. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Uh, spell shield. Sure. Oh, no, I should have picked Overwhelm. I'm an idiot. Overwhelm, please, please, please. No. I have misplayed so hard this game. It's actually, it's not even funny. It is not even funny how much I have misplayed. This is, this has actually just been a massive series of misplay. <laughs> Scorched Earth. Nope, not quite. LeBlanc, nope, not quite. All right, skip. Hey, I have to top deck to Nybush. If I do not top deck to Nybush, this... Maybe he draws something that's not a skill. What's a card he could draw that's not a skill? He could draw something that's not a skill, right? Very possible. Very possible. He could draw, like... Another tome. Maybe he draws another tome. Top deck, second tome. Please. Please. Second tome, top deck. Second tome, top deck. Please. Second... We're chilling. We're, wait, dude. We win. We actually win here. We legitimately win. We actually have it. That's GG's. I think we've got it. We've got the bush. I just have to make sure I play the bush this turn and we're good. There is no way. I got so lucky. Well, yeah, as long as it's... Uh, so, like, half of his deck was a safe top deck here. As long as it's, like, Annie or anything that just has attack but no, like, play skill, we were chilling. This game was way more tense than it needed to be. Against, yeah, against Annie Jin, I do agree. I do agree. I, I agree with that one. Do I want... I think I want grant all enemies vulnerable, right? This has got to be the best option here. This is pretty spicy. I just get good trades with this entire board. <laughs> and then... And then some. Yeah... I like this. I like this uh, very much. Have to say, it doesn't really. Matter. I mean, I'll just play him. It doesn't matter if I play him as a bush or not. This actually, I think this is GG's. I think this is GG's. We have deny bush. If I somehow manage to lose this game, I don't even know what to say. Always pull with the ephemeral first. So we have space on board for auction to generate the landmark. Pull in the highest attack unit with this. Uh, then we'll go boom, boom. Ooh. 
We actually somehow managed to win that game. Okay, listen. That was not that was not me. That was him. That was him misplaying. That is all him misplaying. If he it's all because he didn't attack with Jin in the correct order that one turn. That is insane. We gotta we gotta secret keeper this game, guys. I am sick of not getting my level two champions. Where is my ARAM value? I thought I was playing Howling Abyss, but instead I'm in the desert. <laughs> the dry desert of no value. Nasus Faults. I actually, I so I want to find Scorched Earth here. I have the one of Scorched Earth in this deck. Let's go for Golden Ambassador. I like this, just no matter what. Good, good card to have. There's the Telestones I was trying to find. All game last game. A little too late. <laughs> A little too late. Showed up an entire game later. That's all right. But Scorched Earth, you know, Scorched Earth wouldn't do me like that. Scorched Earth showing up perfectly on time. Um, I do feel like we want to drop Auction when we know there's no Soul Harvest happening. I'll actually pass. Because if he spends man on something else that turn, then I can drop free Auction. So you're just going to pass back. Now we have Auction and we have mana allotted for Ruthless Predator to save him from a Soul Harvest if necessary. I don't need rules to know good from bad. So he will he will guaranteed soul harvest this turn. That's why he's laughing. He's laughing because he's got something sneaky happening here. That's even sneakier. Wait, no, no, no. Alright, whatever. I'll just we'll we'll uh, golden ambassador this next turn. Golden Ambassador, we got an auction for the future. I uh, literally no way I miss allegiance. In case you're wondering, there's only five cards in this deck that are that are Noxus. So like odds of us, but we will we will draw a Noxus card. A riddle me that one, Batman. How does that one work? I couldn't tell you. I'm just just cool like that, you know. I'm just cool that way. Uh, he could potentially have a hate spike. I'm just gonna save mana. I kind of want a swinging glaive, but we'll just save mana because we're gonna want a scorched earth soon, anyways. He doesn't have vaults yet. Obviously, he would have played it this turn if he did. Unless he has no two drops. He probably has a two drop. Um, But nice. I mean, we still got a good team. Oh, no. He doesn't have vaults. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> bricked hand. Actually bricked hand. I believe him. I do believe him. I do think if I drop LeBlanc, she'll probably still die. But I do believe him. Drop a Bakai. We'll go Predict. Predict's pretty good. He mind-gamed you? Nah. I hate having to put my he wouldn't do that. On. He's cool. He's chill. Don't, 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 don't. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you mind-game me right now. Stop laughing. Stop it. Stop laughing. Stop it. Oh, he's, he's scared. He's scared of Denai. <laughs> He's scared. He thinks I have right of negation. He thinks I am not the kind of man that would play a bush. Imagine. It's probably right of negation. Who is? I don't know who this guy is. It's a great question. I like him already, though. He's great. He's great. I'm going to drop a swinging glaive on something here. He could ruinate. I actually would really hate a ruination. He's a dude, he is mind gaming so hard right now. What is happening? <laughs> I don't know how to read this. <laughs> I feel like if I play right indication on anything or a swing glaive on anything, I'm gonna regret it. So let's just let's just full swing. My move. Uh he might hit a spirit fire here. It's possible. Yeah, okay, he had a brick tan. He is 100 percent just pulling out like some random card and bluffing with it, and actually has the most bricked hand of Okay, there's a couple things we could do here. We could Scorched Earth. I'm gonna go for a Scrying Sand. <laughs> and then Deny Guy seems pretty pretty good at this point. I don't like I don't like the vibes I'm getting here, you know? This guy this guy seems kind of kind of silly, kind of goofy. Might just throw out a random uh ruination. You never know. Not a big fan of that, personally. So Let's just, uh, let's get Bush on board as soon as we can. Shall we? 
I think we shall. How much should grappling hook here? Do I grappling hook this? I can't grapple. We, we want a grappling hook like Nasus. Uh, Nasus, I could see Nasus coming down this turn, 100%. Hopefully it doesn't just like open ruinate. That'd be kind of weird. Here we go. 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 This is it. This is what we like to see. There it is. Wait, so how do I... I actually think we have to like Ruthless Predator grappling hook this open. Am I wrong? I think we have to go for this. This has got to be the correct play. Boom. Boom. You just get rid of that immediately. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot have that being on board with regen. That is not happening. You know, we're good. We're good. We're chilling. And we played an eye bush, and what can you do? This guy has felt cute today. Dropped a ruination vibes. I'm, I'm getting the, yeah, I'm getting those vibes too. We we definitely wanted the die bush there just to be safe. He was a little bit like, a little bit sus. All right, I mean, wow, that was that was a much faster game than I expected that to be. Is this is this it? Is this finally the matchup where I get a play secret keeper? Is this finally the matchup where it goes on long enough that opponent doesn't surrender immediately. <laughs> Heimerdinger Samira is kind of interesting. What is this? Oh, turrets for rally. That's an interesting idea. I actually like that a lot. You just play Heimer for like cheap turrets. You play your zero mana, one mana spells, and then you just get a bunch of like free triggers for Samira. That's kind of smart. I know it seems like bait, but I actually think he's on something here. That's kind of nice. I feel like this is a little too slow. I'm going to grab two one drops. If we could find like scrying sands here, that'd be ideal. Spirit Fire is pretty good as well. Quick Sand, that'll, that'll do the job. Alright, let's just find a champion. Or a Secret Keeper. Or a Secret Keeper. Uh, listen, this is Choose Your Own Adventure. I want to go the path of the of the Secret Keeper. I could I could choose the adventure of, Le, of LeBlanc, but... I've, I have chosen that path many times. I'm bored of that path in this Choose Your Own Adventure story. Get to work. Give, give me... <laughs> Give me my secret keeper or give me death. That is what I that is what I ask for here. Like the patriots of old. I take a stand for what is right. Secret keeper. <laughs> if there is no secret keeper, then there is no freedom. Song spinner heimer. Yeah, song spinner heimer is kind of insane. Cuz you get 3 free spells. You get like the barrier turret and then you get 3 free turrets as well. All right, all right. You get a hit for two. Big one. Go ahead. Hit for two. <laughs> hit for two. Secret tunnel? Yes, we, we built a secret tunnel to hide our secret keeper in. That is where we keep our secret keeper operations, which are very secret. So, like, keep on the down low, all right? Can I trust you to keep on the down low about the secret keeper secret tunnel? Can you keep the secret of the secret keeper secret tunnel? <laughs> I know. Crazy, huh? Kind of wild. Kind of crazy. <laughs> kind of goofy. I'm just like you. He just like me. For real. <laughs> Even goofier. I thought the goofiness was, was about to come to an end. No Look at this. We have yet hit another level of goofiness. The goofiness only grows stronger. Oh, no. <laughs> The goofiness. The goofiness is about to... The goofiness levels are over 9,000. He's about to get double blocked by Secret Keeper and there's nothing he can do to stop me. This is so sad. <laughs> I'll end round. I could predict. I'm gonna end round. I'm just gonna play it safe. I'm gonna end round. Uh, wow. Wow. We have, we have a really good Spirit Fire here. I actually don't think we need to play this guy for anything. I think we're planning on Spirit Firing, like, next turn. Or the turn... Maybe this turn. Let's open swing. See what he does. And maybe I'll Spirit Fire this turn. I think we Spirit Fire next turn. But depending on if he plays Heimer or not. Might do it this turn. <laughs> we are about to Cillium William. This poor fool. <laughs> Indeed. Oh no. He think No. Why would you do that? Have I invented Secret Keeper Aggro? I actually just made this man block with his elusive. 
He actually just blocked a secret keeper with his elusive at 18 HP. Like, I get it if you're desperate. If you're about to, if you're like on your deathbed, if if you're if you're on your last breath and you just have to block with something, I get it, but like <laughs> He's just like stop, man. He's learning he's learning what it takes to be an actual Samira player. You have to deal with two fours. I'm sorry, man. Welcome to the life of a true Samira player. This is what it feels like. I mean... I mean... Nah, that's too much. That's too much. That's too much. Let's not, let's not get too ridiculous here. Triple Secret Keeper is just ridiculous. Come on. Order Entropy. A never-ending bicycle. Hmm. I mean, this draws nothing. This I could use to kill Samira, who's already going to die to Spirit Fire. This gives vulnerable to Samira. It's already good. Nothing in my hand is worth playing. I'll, I'll pass. I'll actually pass. This is so weird. Uh, my hand is a little bit bricked at the moment. He's doing, like, nothing. Let's be honest. He is, he is giving me a lot of time to just, like... I just, I skipped. I skipped my predict. What are you doing here? I know you're the assessor, but like, I assessed you, and I said no. <laughs> and you're still here. What is happening? I skipped the predict. Do I let this through? Do I let him disgrace a secret keeper like this? Hmm. 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 <laughs> Do I? I don't know. Do I? Maybe I do. I don't know if I need to play quick. Like, I don't really feel that threatened at the moment. I'm skip block. I'm actually going to let it through. I'm going to let it through. I'm going to pass again. This is weird, man. This is, this is not a great hand. I'm going to be honest. This hand is really bad. I'm just going to hope he's like sussed out by the fact that I'm passing so much and he'll just pass back. Do I let him level up Samira? Because then Samira does not die to Spirit Fire. I feel like I want him to have more units on board before a Spirit Fire. <laughs> Imer Samira, genius. <laughs> Just casual top deck zero mana champion. Hey. 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 Look at that. Okay, wait, which one do we pick here? Hmm. <laughs> Anyone know? Which one is the better one? I don't know. Drop down to zero? I think that's the plan. I think I hit him with another fat pass, because he wants to level his Samira, so I'm gonna I'm gonna force him to just spend all his mana and then I just casually drop this and ruin his day. Casually drop a champion that wins matches by itself? Yeah. For zero mana, no less. Elusive is the better one, really. That's what I've heard, yeah. That's what I've heard. So most Kane players like to say is that Elusive is the better one. Just the typical one that they end up choosing. Just when you thought you'd seen it all. Just when you thought you'd seen it all. Just when you thought you'd seen me spend all my mana. <laughs> I spend a little bit more. Pass again. I mean, he wants to rally. Let's see it. Song spinner. Hit that song spinner, baby. Where's it at? Where is it at? No, 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 no. Where's your song spinner, though? Like, I know you have one. Where is it? This should be fun. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't. I don't even think this is worth spirit firing. <laughs> this is nothing. He's doing nothing here. He played around. He actually did play around Kane. What is he doing? What is going on right now? I'm so confused. I'm just beyond flabbergasted. He's trying he's actually trying to hit lethal with one once. Okay, so there it is. Now we spirit fire. Samira actually dies turn end, so that's good. Uh this gets a free I mean it doesn't really matter that we blocked here. He's just standing there menacingly. Bro, what is this game? This game is so weird. 
This is one of the weirdest games I've ever played. He actually rallies. He rallies. He's going to rally here. Guaranteed. I guess Rost is a good blocker. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna wait for him to rally. Okay. No rally. I'm just- I'm worried he has, like, Hex Obliterator. I feel like we actually need to... Siphoning Strike on something. I think we Avenging Vestaya, so I have to die. We Vestaya Siphoning Heimer to get rid of Heimer. And then that'll give Rost 8 HP so he doesn't immediately get Hex Obliterated. I could actually- I could just play this. And then insta cane. But I think just for extra safety, we go Siphoning Strike. But I'm probably gonna have to Siphoning Strike immediately play this to save the bush. But if he has a way to kill the bush, he'll just kill the bush anyways. Okay, so here it comes. I have to flip this. Then we have a Spell Shield unit, which hits Heimer. This is still fine. He rallies. I don't know. Is this fine? <laughs> Maybe this is not quite as fine as I thought it was. <laughs> oh, man. This is weird. Wait, this is such a weird match. Okay, so I deny that. I do have I have I have quicksand. Do I siphoning strike Samira? Let's siphoning strike Samira, right? Because she's threatening the most as far as attack goes. No, we actually just we we nip Heimer in the bud. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, old chap. You've got to go. You've got to go. I'm sorry, old chap. You simply have to leave. We go for this. We drop a zero mana... Uh, what? 5-8 Overwhelm Challenger that heals my Nexus too. <laughs> Actually, what is it going to be when it attacks? 6-8? Six, 6-9? Six, six, this looks like a TF2... Yeah, there's a lot of turrets going on. That's a fair point. This, this does almost look like a... All right, bro. Now that was a step too far. Prepare to face my wrath. <laughs> oh, man. What in the world? What is happening? What is going on? <laughs> Let's go. The secret keeper value we have been waiting for. This is actually like probably the best champion you could hit off of secret keeper. I'm going to be honest. Zero mana. Literally two choices of who you want the champion to be. Comes with a permanent equipment. Heals your nexus. Grows in stats. Has challenger and overwhelm. Like, literally, this checks all the boxes of value you could possibly get from a free champ. We can get another one. We can get another one. Now, okay, he could potentially kill... Uh, he could kill Rost here. Do I go for draw while I have it? Because I haven't had the opportunity to even play draw this entire game. Don't do it. A stun? Okay. Did he? <laughs> Wait. I think he meant to do this the other way. I think he meant... There's no way he actually meant to do it like this, right? He had surely he meant to do it the other way around. Surely. All right. Uh, no, no way we miss allegiance. A free eight ten Quinn. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Guess we're challenging this game. Guess we're guess we're a challenge. I'm a challenging opponent. What can I say? Does he have scorched earth? Oh, he might have scorched earth. Oh no, he could have scorched earth. If he. No. 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 That is rude. That truly is rude. So wait, how do I how do I best play this now? Cuz his entire hand is basically kill a unit. That's what his hand is. Drop the Quinn. I feel like we could. But then if I block with Quinn, then she just probably dies this turn. I guess I'll just drop her. If I found Deny Bush, that would have been nice. Another Deny Bush would have been good here. This is a yikes, man. What in the world? This guy's deck is is uh is really something. Ain't it? Ain't it? See if he just does double like. See, this is what I was worried about. This is the problem. 
Why would I listen to my chat? Why would I listen to my chat? What am I doing? Listening to my chat? What a concept. No Valor. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Valor wouldn't have survived, like, another second. So does it does it particularly matter? Probably not. Block, block, block. I mean, no, literally no point in playing Quicksand now that she's already damaged. Okay, I mean, I, if you had... I, so either way, she was just destined to die here. Doesn't even matter if we would have removed Broadman. That makes me feel a little better, I guess. The main problem is, like... I can't play my Assessors. Because he keeps killing all the units that I was going to draw off of. This is insane. I, I think we actually have to open attack just so this gets enough damage. Enough attack on it so we can draw. I think that's where we're at. I think that is the state of the game at the moment. Here I am. Here I am? There I am. <laughs> Please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Why would you kill it? one unit. Why would you kill it? Surely he doesn't spend a mystic shot on this. Surely. Surely he doesn't suspect the free draw. It's insane. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I mean, at least we got quicksand. We got quicksand. He's insane if he attacks with broadmain. He's insane in the broadmain membrane. I know a challenge when I see one. We're gonna go for this. Block Samira with the one that he's gonna have a harder time killing since he does a broadmain. Uh, it's possible he just has like buffs. Bro. Bro. This is the this is this is the long I mean to be fair, this is what I asked for. This is the longest match of all time. This guy main character, yeah, he really is. He plays his one hate spike in PNZ that he randomly got, and of course it's elusive husk. Of course it's elusive husk. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> he I, that's actually insane. I'm sorry, that is insane. One hate spike, lose busk. Insta lose busk. To be fair, I did also top deck Kane, so like that was my elusive husk, but Jeez, dude. Jeez. At least we have another quicksand. Oh no, is he prog don't poggers day. Whatever you thought the poggers day. Today is not poggers day. It is not a poggers day for me. No, I mean, it should be fun. Yeah, I'd agree, actually. I I, have, I I very much agree. This should be fun. And yet, look at us. Look where we are right now. Am I... Uh, so, knowing he... Fully aware of the fact this man has an elusive husk. I guess I'm going to quicksand here. Just to... Just to attempt to kill Samira. Surely no mystic shot. Okay, great. Want to prove yourself? No. Your I don't I don't even I don't even care at this point. I don't wanna <laughs> Wait. Cause I gave minus four. He doesn't He actually didn't save her. Oh we got him, boys. We got him. We got him good. Oh that's fine. At this point I don't even care. Alright. Give give Husk vulnerable. Open attack, kill Husk before he can play anything on it. Beautiful. Fantastic. Draw free champion. This is it. This is it. This is what I like to see. Now, okay. Let's draw free champion. Let's just see what it is. Akshan. Cool. Oh, this is so good. This is so good, dude. This is so good. I think we do need to open attack here. I'll drop the Akshan. Do do I'll drop this. We'll give Broadmain vulnerable. We'll pull both of them in. And I and as long as he doesn't have a way to stop me. This is GG's. I think we've hit it. I think we've hit it, baby. I think we've hit it. Please. Please tell me this is it. 
I think we have to open attack here, right? Just to just to remove this elusive husk. We have to go for this. Every time. Double rift? There's no way. There's no way. I mean, if he has it, he has it. It's not like I can do anything to stop that. Single riff. Oh, he was close. He was close. If he didn't waste that one earlier, he would have had us here. I think we made it, boys. I think we made it to the end of the game. I think we got the dub. I think we've secured it. All that's left. Okay, I mean, that's a little disappointing. That's that's kind of... The amount... Dude, the amount of just kill a damaged unit he has played this game is kind of insane. I'm actually just going to start cycling these equipments now. Just to level up the landmark as quickly as I can. Drop this. We can try Farian Assessor this next turn to draw one. I'd ideally like to drop another unit and then draw two. <laughs> okay. I mean, he's got a hand. I don't like that he has a hand. He does have a hand <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm not a particularly big fan of the fact that this guy has a hand, but okay. Me too. Relatable, you know? That classic moment every morning when you gotta put your face on. It's just annoying. No one likes it. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, double draw. Here we go. 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 The Refill the hand. And now this... Uh, I got a lot of equipment. I was gonna say, now this is uh, GG's. But... I mean, what are these top decks? Bro. No. No! Stop! <laughs> You've got to be joking with me, man. You've got to be actually joking. Actually, actually got to be joking. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna flip this landmark as quickly as I possibly can. I don't even care. I don't even care. <laughs> Maybe we get rid of armory and put in dark and scythe instead. I mean, he's got to be out of removal, right? There's no way. I would like to believe this guy is out of removal at this point. Hold up. Hold up now. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, okay. I'm going to pop this on here. I'm going to see if we can find Akshan. He's, I don't like how, like, sus this guy is playing. He's he's playing like his entire hand is just cards that will make me cry. So let's let's uh, let's play Deny Guy. I guess we can't play Gwen yet. We'll play her. He's playing like his entire hand is just removal. I'm going to trust him. I trust him here. His entire hand probably is removal. It probably is. We got to play safe here. See, if I played Gwen, we would have been... We would have been... Okay, so I have to deny that just to have another unit on board. It's good. It's No, it's, it's the correct play to wait. It's a good thing we waited here. Gwen is a fantastic top deck, but this game is not over, dude. What in the world? This is the longest game of all time. This is so strange. Um, okay. I think we go for this, right? Just to get a free, uh, lucky find. Play Bush. <laughs> Thirtle, you might you might need to refresh your stream. It seems like you might be a little bit behind if you're asking me to play Bush right now. <laughs> I think I think you might need to like refresh potentially. All right, man. I mean, I just my at this point my my entire hand is just Gwen and the four equipments. Gwen's Gwen's Infinity Gauntlet, Thanos Gwen. That's the deck I'm playing. That's where we're at. Thanos Gwen. <laughs> How I love Thanos Gwen. All right, go for more stats, I guess. I was hoping to find Challenger, maybe, and then we could just pull in Broadmain. If he doesn't play another unit here, we could also give Broadmain Vulnerable. I just... Dude, I need, like, one more Assessor, but I played both my Assessors already, and they're dead and gone. All right, we'll give Broadmain Vulnerable. You're dead. You're dead, buddy. You're dead. There's nothing you can do to stop it. <laughs> Relic Hunter Gwen. I still, I don't trust him. 
I feel like we can't play Gwen. I want to play Gwen for all the value, but I feel like I can't trust him. Do I play Gwen? Do I play Gwen? Do I play Gwen? Do I play Gwen? Of course. All right. If, if Gwen dies here, I swear, you guys are all banned. You guys are all banned if Gwen dies. You guys are you guys are all banned if Gwen dies. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, I was hoping like we could at least attack with her, do a little snipping, but that's cool too. That's true. That's actually incredibly accurate. Every moment of this has been a joy.